This is Virtua Fighter 10th Anniversary. I've just finished setting up the volume levels, which are a little, little wacky, as you can see. Uh, this game does not save settings, so you have to reset them every time. It's just a little bonus game included on the Virtua Fighter 4 uh, Evolution disc under Option Special. In other territories, it did come as a separate game or a pre-order bonus. Uh, but in North America, it was just thrown right on the Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution disc. And Virtua Fighter 4 was already a, a, a... It was only $20, I think. So, you get this bonus game in addition to the whole Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution for 20 bucks. Not a, not a bad deal, I thought, at the time. And I guess I still think it's a pretty good deal. There are two, uh, it's a pretty basic setup. You can play versus another player locally, or you can play in arcade mode. The arcade mode has two routes of enemies. The first route is VF1, and that's a set pattern of characters who were only in the, Virtua, the first Virtua Fighter game. And the second route is the evolution route, which is a, f a fixed order of characters who uh, well, sort of increasing from game to game, the, the characters who appeared, who were the new characters in the games. So there's, well, there's Akira from VF1, and maybe somebody else, but anyway, then there's, um, from Virtua Fighter 2, next comes, uh, the new characters there were Lion and Shundi, and then, uh, Aoi was the new character in 3, also Taka, Rashi, but he's not in Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. All the, all the characters come from Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution, um, but they're all set in a Virtua Fighter 1 style game. So I think that's the options I want. Whoops, but I want to start on the F1 route. Being a more classic route. Um, set this stuff up. Specifically today I'm playing Shundi, the Drunken Master and Herbal Doctor. Uh, now I played him just before this, I played him in Virtua Fighter 4 and in that game's Kumite mode when you get to first Dan rank you unlock this model or one that looks quite a bit like this, this sort of quote unquote Virtua Fighter 1 model. Shundi, of course, was not in Virtua Fighter 1, but they sort of made this retrospective model in the style of Virtua Fighter 1 uh, to go with the other characters who were in that game. Um, and then in this, I think, for this, or for Evolution anyway, they, they also added a, a retro model of his alternate costume. So I'm going to... I'm going to play this one first, and then I'll play the other one. Now, don't get any ideas. It's not like I'm any good at Virtua Fighter, and I certainly don't know what I'm doing with Shundi. Uh, I'm Ready? sort of trying to learn, perhaps. Now, Shundi is a drunken master. If you hit all three buttons together, well, he does the wrong thing. There. If you hit all three buttons together, he tries to take a drink. He tries to take a drink. Now it's... A little surprising here is that Jackie actually ran up and hit me. Usually in the first three stages or so, even on hard difficulty, the AI uh, is you know, a real pushover. And he still was, as a matter of fact. Now what I should have been doing there, and what I always forget, is to drink, to guzzle some drinks between uh, rounds. Whoop. That throw gives you, was it four drinks? Of course it didn't matter because that was the last round, I forgot. This is only uh, best of, or first to two. Fight one. 
Now this video is only recorded at 30 frames a second. Usually I record at 60 frames a second, but this game has a gross flickering effect added to the old style health meters. It's a, it's a flickering effect that was not in the old games. Uh, as these health meters decrease, there's a, a 60 hertz red and white flicker, which is just awful, and uh, I don't want that to be in the video, so I'm recording at just 30 frames or 30 hertz, so that way the flicker doesn't get picked up and it just looks solid. Uh, but of course that doesn't work on my own actual screen here as I'm playing, so I have to drape a t-shirt, well I don't have to, but I drape a t-shirt over the top of the screen uh, so I don't have to see that flickering myself. That does mean I can't actually see the health meters or uh, the timer or... Well, if I do it carefully I can just see the bottom of the round uh, win indicator parkers, but I have gone a little overboard with the t-shirt draping this time and I can't quite see those either. So I'm totally in the dark as to the actual status of anything, except for drinks. I can see my drink meter, so that's a good reminder to guzzle some. I don't, I don't actually. I'm, I'm such a chump with shun that I don't actually know what the drinks do. Uh, I have this long-standing theory of dating back to. I keep forgetting it's just this weird pogo thing that I get stuck on. That's forward, forward, kick. Um, well, actually, it's not though. Sometimes it's this cool cartwheel, which is what I actually wanted. So I don't know why. See, there's the cartwheel. Ow. 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 Well, that went poorly. So we're on round three. <laughs> I say we again. Uh. Round three, if I goof off, then the AI can get in a round win or something. Oh, this is going bad. Oh, she did it again. Well, maybe I'll just lose. That'll show her. Uh oh. Got a little some drinks. That always helps. I don't know. See, I don't know though. But I think. I think I read somewhere back when I was actually playing Virtue Fighter games like three years ago. Um, I thought I read that it gave you access to moves that you don't usually get once you have a certain level, of, a certain number of drinks on your drink meter. Uh, I don't actually know if that's true. I haven't gone and looked that up now that I'm back to trying to play Virtue Fighter games. Oh, so now, stage four, this is where stuff gets kind of real. Oh, well, that changed. As I said, I just played Virtua Fighter 4, Shun, so it's interesting to see what changed. So that uh, that thing where he did a sort of stuck his leg out forward while falling backwards in 4, he just... I think that's back back... Oh, wait, what is that? Just back kick? Yeah, and when you do that in... Four, he just falls down backwards and lays on the ground, and then he can do various things on the ground if he wants to before he gets up. Dang, I hate that move. <laughs> um, in this game, he he doesn't go down right away. He uh, what did he do? Yeah, he stumbles around. So I wonder if I can. Oh, so if I hit back and kick again, he'll fall down and do another kick. So they complicated that move. I tend to feel like. Like, Virtua Fighter 4 feels to me kind of like the, the most pure expression of the modern, shall we say, Street Fighter, or Street Fighter, geez, Virtua Fighter gameplay. And then, ever since 4, they've been uh, complicating things. <laughs> Which, you know, in, in a lot of cases is cool stuff, but, uh, uh, you know, sometimes it seems a, a little... A little overdone, and then sometimes later they go back and tone things down or switch them up again or whatever. So it's always always in development, I suppose. Although who knows what Virtua Fighter is doing these days? Of course, well, I'm not even going to mention it. There was this rumor about a Virtua Fighter 6, but it's really probably just tied to Sega's 60th anniversary, which they're celebrating, and it looks like they're bringing back their old Saturn spokesman or spokes character or something, uh, Sayata Sanshiro. 
and they had this countdown that started at the number six on a website, and some people freaked out. Mostly people who don't speak Japanese. Uh, and we're assuming that meant they were teasing Virtua Fire 6 was going to be announced in a week, but that's pretty unlikely. The page URL said uh, Sega Sanchiro or something, something more like that than, than like Virtua Fighter 6. It was nothing like Virtua Fighter 6. And uh, the page HTML title referred to uh, what a spokesman or some some term like that coming back. Of course, this was all just translated through Google, so. Not super accurate, of course, but... Anyway, let's, let's not all get our hopes up for Virtua Fighter 6 right away. Probably not gonna happen anytime real soon. Uh oh, I tend to have trouble with pie. I'm not drinking, so that's a problem. And when I say I tend to have trouble with Pi, I mean just in general with anybody against Pi, especially in this game. I'm not sure why that is. Well, this game's the rules are kind of basic, and she's just got speed, which is kind of the ultimate win button. Oh! He saw there the slow motion jump that is a Virtua Fighter 1 style jump. The other big thing is you can't, there's no sidestepping. Uh, to dodge attacks, uh, because that didn't come along until Virtua Fighter 3, where it was actually on a f they added a fourth button just for sidestepping or evading or whatever you would like to call it. Uh, then in 4, they- whoops! I keep doing that. I accidentally hit the third button and drink instead of doing the throw, which is not great for my win percentage, let me tell you. Oof. I get a lot of mileage out of that throw. I, uh, my, my methodology in just picking up and playing these characters is just to find, basically, it, I mean, this, this is not something I do on purpose, but it basically just comes down to, a, I end up finding maybe three moves that I can remember and that seem reasonably effective, and then I just abuse the, as much as I can the heck out of them. That was a poor sentence. Um, and just try to just try to get through get through on those three moves or so. <laughs> because am I really gonna memorize somebody's whole move list right off the bat? No. And probably Ow! What, what the heck happened to my health bar? Ouch. I'm not ready, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's right. The, the one thing that really does annoy me, I guess. I guess Virtue Fighter 1 must not have had animations for when you miss... Oh no. Oh, right in the old man spot. Uh... Oh jeez, I keep forgetting. That's another thing I need to remember in this game. Attacks on characters who have fallen down, uh, there's a huge window to do to execute them. And it's really hard to avoid them if you're not really on the ball, so I should remember, I should be doing more uh, attacks on down characters. Like, every character can press, uh, it's Fight like up one. or up forward plus Ready? punch. Go. And then other characters. I guess I have been doing some low punches with Shun. That's a hit for him on an ow. Ah, uh, see, he just tried to get one in on me, but I was too quick for him. <laughs> ow. My keister. Is a different stand-up kick animation. That was kind of neat backwards. I was really worried about playing Sean because he seemed like he would be complicated given that he's got this drinking bottle mechanic. But he's really uh, actually a lot of fun. I'm not saying he's one of the simpler characters to play, so he is a little, a little, a little tricky, but he's just a real character in every sense of the word. And so it's fun anyway, even if... And, but actually, I did I did pretty darn well with him in 4 yesterday, as, uh, compared to you know how I generally do with other characters. 
Ready? Go! So that was encouraging. And it was a hoot and a half as nobody says anymore. Now, Lao, if I have trouble with Pi in this game, I have, tend to have even more trouble with Lao because he just, I don't know if he's just more aggressive or what, but I mean, he's almost as fast as her, but he's also just, well, it is two stages later, so he's, the AI is presumably notched up. Fortunately, in this game, the AI doesn't, doesn't get too, doesn't keep getting higher and higher, really. Um, it kind of flattens out, so it's not terrifying towards the end or anything. Even, even the last character isn't too bad. The final bonus character is on hard difficulty I've been having a great deal of trouble with, but it's a bonus character, so... No biggie, I guess. Like, right now, I'm not, I'm not even really trying, I'm just flapping buttons and patting my ass, apparently. And giggling. Because that's how we drunk old men roll. After we beat you, especially. So this, you see, this says final stage. And this is Akira, and so that Akira is the boss, like he technically was, I guess, in Virtua Fighter 1. He also is in Virtua Fighter 2, where he's just absolutely terrifying in Virtua Fighter 2. Oh my gosh. At least in the version on uh, PS3. Like even on the even on the easiest difficulty, it took me it took me well, I don't know if it was like an hour or something just to beat Akira, just just to win that one fight. Maybe it would go a little faster now that I learned a few tricks, but I don't know. Ow! So that wasn't bad. So they've definitely toned Akira down over the years, it seems to me. Not that I've ever actually played the original Virtua Fighter, as far as I can recall. I'm not even sure I saw that one in the arcade, although I guess I probably did. Now here's the bonus character. This is Dural, who just sort of is a amalgamation of various characters' moves. And I have not been able to beat her, as far as I can recall, on hard. On normal difficulty, I would beat her pretty regularly, but on hard, it's been a very different story. Which is weird because hard doesn't otherwise seem that much more difficult. But I guess it just just puts me over that tipping point with Dural. Oh, she's got a drink meter just like me! I'm gonna out drink you, Dural. Ugh. I guess in Virtua Fighter 1 there was a code. What the? That was way too many kicks in the air. There was a code to. Oh, if you yeah, see, it just didn't work. There's a code to play as Dural, and that's where I guess her name comes from because the code in Virtua Fighter 1 was. Uh, with the stick movements and the, the buttons, it was down, up, uh, let's see, right, A button, left. And the first letter of each of those directions spells out D-U-R-A-L, Dural. Uh, so that is probably just what her name means, is the, the code, the acronym of the, the input code to play her. Of course, later, I don't know if it came from the anime or something, but there's later story that she uh, was the mother of Kage, I think, uh, and uh, was transformed by this evil group into this uh, weird, weird fighting character or something, but you know, whatever. I don't, I don't know if that ever shows up in the games. I would be very surprised if it does. Not in any of the games I've played, that's for sure. I guess I've played all of them except one. I haven't, 
I've only played three briefly. Uh, but other than that, I've played all the mainline games. I haven't played some of the funky Saturn stuff that it was just listing there. So that was it. Even though I did lose to the bonus character, Dural, you still go to the same ending and everything. Uh, and you can't continue because it's just a, a bonus round. Or that's the that's the idea, I guess. So now uh, that was the VF1 route. Uh, and now I can go for the evolution route, which I usually have an easier time with because it doesn't have the... Uh, Chans. It doesn't have Lao Chan and it doesn't have Pai Chan, and they're they're the ones I seem to have the most trouble with in this game. So uh, let's do the sub costume. And look who we get to start with. Fight one. Oh, I screwed. Did I, I screwed up. It's not supposed to be Jackie. I actually have to go set the option, not just say I'm going to do it. Oh dear. That will work better. Okay. So costume. Look at those commanding eyes of that crazy retro low poly model they gave him. Okay. Now who is it? There we go. It's Akira, but... I can swear he's got a slightly different outfit. I don't know what exactly is different about it, but I'll have to... Maybe it's just a different color scheme in this stage. I, I don't know. Fight two. Ready? Go. I love that tiptoe retreat he has. Oh. I should figure out what all he can do with this step backward thing now. No fall over. Okay, so then I can roll right. Hmm. I think I liked how it worked better before. <laughs> now it's a lot more complicated. I liked when it was just one one kick and he would fall down. But you know, of course, I tend to like the things I get used to and don't like change and all that stuff. So like I said, uh, this is the evolution route, so the, the first stage was Akira from VF1, and now we've got Lion, who first appeared in VF2 on the second stage. <clears throat> I mean, he's on the second stage here. I think in VF2 he's... Uh, so the third or fourth stage? Oh, I'm just guessing now. I don't know. He's on the Great Wall of China stage in that game, which I guess must be the first time it appeared, because in Virtua Fighter 1 the stages were just kind of... Well, I guess he could have had a Great Wall of China in this style, sort of. But anyway, his is the first one that actually kind of looks like a 3D Great Wall of China. Um, Shundi, so here... Here's the mirror match. Shundi was oh, the other new character in Virtua Fighter 2. His stage is this really cool river raft stage. Which is really, I mean, it still looks good in Virtua Fighter 2. Off the edge you go. Of course, that looks like an infinite abyss, but it's actually just a, a little step down. He's fine. So I, I only had to hit the button once there, so maybe it's just a, a stick motion to it? No, I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm kind of scared to look at his movements now. It must be pretty crazy looking. But someday, if I keep trying to play shuttle, I'll have to look at his move list, I suppose, and even do his uh, command training. Is that crazy or what? But I haven't done it yet, so there. Time's up! <laughs> when he just lays around reclining and testifying. Fight one. Good old show. Ready? Go. Actually, it's funny because this uh, 
I can't remember off the top of my head about his... Since Ali first appeared in Virtua Fighter 3, I don't know about his, like, Virtua Fighter 2 model, but compared to at least his Virtua Fighter 4 model that I was just looking at, his regular one, I mean, not his low-poly retro one, uh, this beard, this big cone-shaped beard they gave him in the retro version really makes him look sort of more imposing and gives him more gravitas, whereas his normal model is a lot sort of scrawnier looking and kind of look like a, a drunk, obnoxious little jerk. <laughs> uh, but he still has the same voice, so that's kind of funny. But now he looks like this respectable elder or something. His massive white conical beard. But then he does stuff like that, and you remember. No, he's, he's kind of a dork. Uh Fight one. Ready? Go. What must it be to have this guy like around your town or something? He's always getting the cops called on him and they're just like, no, we, we, look, we'll we'll give him a message, but we can't uh we don't want to get into another rumble with him. That's just good for nobody. It looks like we're performing elder abuse and he's actually just Leaving, leaving us bruises for days and Fight two. Ready? Go. he gets all riled up and nobody's happy. Just let him fall asleep. story about him that I was reading on Wikipedia, the supposed little story of his character, and they're all very short. Biographical origins for these characters was, was that he was teaching at his school, and it wasn't clear if it was his, like, herb school, or whatever it was, or if it was a martial arts school. Uh, and it, well, I... But then he said, so he was doing that, but then he was out with his friends one day or something, or night, I don't know, drinking. And uh, he heard about this tournament. I don't know if it was called the Virtual Fire Tournament or whatever, but he heard about it and uh, and he just wanted to go. He just got the urge to go, so he just kind of raced off to the tournament. And that's that's the story of Shundi. That is the lore of Shundi, according to Wikipedia. Which, you know, what more would you need, really? It's pretty good. Oh! Oh no! Vanessa first appeared in Virtua Fighter 4. Which is why we've advanced up to Vanessa stage here. Well, I'm just spamming my cartwheel at you, Vanessa. Yeah, the AI in this game is generally not too tough, which is sort of curious if you think about it. This isn't the very... there is one more level, one more difficulty level. I think I've played it once, actually. Might have been with... no, it was, it was either with Brad or Go. I think maybe it was Go. I can't remember. And it wasn't, it didn't seem all that much more difficult on the face of it. But at some point, if I was going to keep playing this game, I would try that difficulty, I suppose. But I can't say, I can't say I probably will. I can't say I'm likely to keep playing it once I've played through all the characters on hard. Um, I mean, it's all right and all, but the progression of, you know, who you fight is totally fixed. So that would get a little old that pretty quickly, I would tend to think. Uh, just because the difficulty does change a little bit, so as you go through the rounds, so like the first three characters are at completely useless difficulty, they might as well not even be there, so that's a waste of characters. And then the next two or three are 
you know, kind of wishy-washy. Fight one! Ready? Go! And it doesn't seem to get ridiculously hard, which if I actually got good at it, I guess I would need it to be, so. But, you know, they just intended it as a cute, cute little uh, novelty game, I guess. Oh wow, you beat me. Well, I guess that's what I'm talking trash about the AI. That's what usually happens. Oh! That Captain Kirk. gonads. Well, there you go. Fight one. Ready? Go. Go here is the boss of the evolution route. Oh jeez, he's actually doing pretty well too. I need more booze, that's what I need. Oh. No, not that one. Oh. This is really not going well. Ready? Go. Oh, he's, I mean, one problem is that I've been going for a lot of throws, and Go is a throw specialist, so I'm really trying to beat him at his own game, which may not be the smartest approach. Ooh. Of my cartwheel. Fight three. Ready? Go. Uh, the the lack of throw misanimations has it hasn't annoyed me as much with Sean as it has for some of the other characters. I don't know if that's just because he seems to have a pretty generous throw range. Uh, I don't know if it's different than some of the other characters, but it's definitely been working out better for me. So I haven't been missing throws much. When I do miss a throw and there's no throw animation, that just drives me up the wall. It makes me feel like I, my input didn't go through, or you know, the game just decided to spit in my eye. You know, I don't know what happened, because there's no feedback. So that's, that's one thing I don't really enjoy about the game. One. Ready? Little aspect. Whoop! Jeez. Oh, she's just knifing through me like hotness through butter. Oh, she went straight into her throw. Holy smokes. That was absolute domination. I thought I would have a chance to throw her when she landed, but directly into her throw. Well, and there I Getting my input sloppy. There, well, I've outdrunk you, so yeah. And that is what truly really matters. Oh, she didn't stop. Oh, she blocked everything. Now it's because on normal, which is what I was playing for a while, you can really get, you can really hit her pretty regularly. Oh, that's not the drink button. Time's up. Fight three. Uh, in this game, she is really good at defending. Okay, I did get the throw in on her that time. Not the losing one, though. But, I mean, look at that. It's, like, very hard to get a hit in on her. Oh, shnikes. Oh. Oh, turn around, please. Sure. Ah, oh, no chance. No chance to get the throw in on her. She sails towards me and then just instantly I was pounding throw, but possibly I was doing the wrong input and I just couldn't tell because of the lack of whiff animation, so I could have could have hosed myself along with a little help from the game there, but anyway, she would have beat me anyway. But it's okay, you don't get anything different for beating her. That's what I tell myself, that's how I get to sleep at night. With tears and 
here's these Sega Saturn games. There were these these portrait series. I guess I've seen these things on on YouTube anyway, or what claims to be them. It's just a you know pre-rendered low you know early 3D rendered graphics of the characters um, with a with a, a music track, basically. But you know they were. They were going all out on the series then, just putting out all these extra products for people who were into it. I never played Virtua Fighter Kids. I don't know if I've actually played VF3. I've played 3TB on Dreamcast. I would like to play all of these in the arcade, but that's probably not going to happen. I'd like to see... I mean, the, the port of 3 on... Um, or 2, sorry, on... PS3 seems really good, and that's an arcade, uh, you know, uh, trying to recreate the arcade version. That seems really accurate. Just, you know, I mean, what do I know? But it has the look of it. Uh, I wish they would do the other games Game over. in that style, arcade port. I'd love to see a full-on port of uh, Virtua Fighter V Final Showdown. It's, from the look of it, and I can't find documentation on this on the internet, but there look to be all kinds of uh, single-player modes in uh, the arcade version that I would certainly like to get a chance to take a look at. But that is uh, all the looking at I'll be doing for now for uh, Shundi and Virtue Fighter 10th Anniversary. Next up for my Virtue Fighter playing is... Uh, going to be Shandi in quest mode of Virtua Fighter 5. Uh, so I'll get to see how he has uh, changed and evolved from uh, this game, where he actually, at least for the, for the teeny tiny little surface depth of my understanding of him, like the three moves that I spam, uh, didn't change much. It was really just that um, that back back kick lie down move. Or maybe it's just it's just back kick uh, in four got got more complicated, and I didn't understand how to how to, how to work all its uh, new tricks. Uh, so I guess I'll keep an eye out for what they do with that in five, and I anticipate there probably will be. A lot more changes in five uh, from this from four evolution than there were from four to four evolution for Shun. Uh, so yeah, that I think that'll be fun. If you agree, maybe you'll come check that out. Uh, in any case, thank you very much for watching.